Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today we are back with another menu book. This is menu book number 38 in which we are looking at acquiring a collection of Ferraris and I am hoping, I am really hoping that the 308 Quattrovalvo is in there. It's the only Ferrari I think I've ever sat in uh, when I was very, very much younger and that would be a car that we would very much like to acquire. Uh, so let's get into World Circuits and see what we are after. So we're heading off to Europe. We've got Catalonia, which is this video, and then we've also got Maggiore and Dragon Trail with the infamous, I believe, um, that's Chicane. So um, let's see how we can do it. Okay, so we need a Ferrari, first of all. The only one we've got is the um, F430, which is a cracking car. But we are going to need to modify this slightly so we'll come out of here and we'll pop down into the tuning shop and we will start off with the weight reduction i'm going to do my your normal mods on this car so stage two now we do stage three and we also do stage four if there is one um, yes there is so we'll grab that and we'll also pop across to extreme and grab our carbon ceramic brakes, which we always do. And then we'll just need to pop over for the racing medium tires. So these are the mods that I normally do to my cars when I first get them. If I then need to modify them further with turbos and other things, yeah, I can do that later on. Uh, but hopefully that will give us the performance that we need to get through the pack and to get third place or higher, preferably a win, third place or higher at Catalonia. We've got five laps, third place or higher. And I think the gift card is the 308 GTB. Nice. Oh, let's see if we can secure that with a nice race win. Okay, all important first corner. It's pretty quick down into what is effectively an open chicane. Now uh, you can carry a lot of speed through there and an opportunity to potentially overtake one or two cars through here. So that's the first one overtaking the Dino and we go straight after the oh let's just get it slowed down oh that's the 308 GTB in yellow not quite sure about the yellow prefer red uh, but then Ferrari should always be red in my opinion let's just get this turn around in here just uh oh, okay it's better oh it's a 308 GTB in red good 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 let's concentrate on the driving rather than the cars that we're overtaking so we're up to 11th pretty much after the first couple of corners. So we are getting through this traffic pretty quickly. Going to go around, uh, not around the outside. It's got the inside switch. Is that just a rotor? Yes, it is. Iconic car from the uh, from the early 90s. Okay, so get through here, over the curb, over this curb. Just carry some more speed down through here. This is a corner that you can be really brave on, but if you're not careful, you wind up on the gravel off the track. So just need to be, oh, this is posing up on me. Oh, two wheels on the grass, just about managed to get that. Can we get it slowed down? We've got a bit deep because we were on the grass there. I think we've managed to make that stick. That was a bit heart in mouth. We go around the outside of this one. Was that the one that Magnum used to drive? I can't remember. Anyway get back to driving so third gear second gear turning on this one over the curb quick run up to third down into second for this corner again taking loads of curb being careful of the little sausage and then we will go around the outside of this one and as we come around for the end of lap one we've got ourselves up to fifth place 16 seconds away from the leader so whilst we're overtaking some of these slower cars there are some quick cars up ahead. How can you say a Ferrari is slow? Um, that's, a, uh, that's a wrong choice of words. Uh, but we are going to need to get the get our boot down, get moving to see if we can catch up with the first place. So third place is about six seconds ahead of us at the moment. So we're just trying to keep the power on through here. We're going to need to be brave through some of these corners. See if we can close up under braking get good exits that's better oh a bit of a wobble on the way out down into third and it's second for this corner 
taking loads of curb, a little bit too much. Getting up into third as quick as you can, up into fourth. Coming through the gears, fifth. Let me slow down to third. Do you want to step into third through here? Just being careful. We want to try and keep a clean race. We're going to go to the inside of this one. Take a load of curb across here. Leaving it in third and see if we can get a clean overtake on this one before we get into the next corner. Going for the inside. So that's first place up ahead. We seem to have caught up with these cars really, really quickly. Much, much quicker than I had expected. So it's third over here. Third, second, third. Second through here. Get up into third, fourth, down two gears into second. We're just tucking behind this F12. We're tucking behind him for this corner too. So second gear, see if we can get a good run out of this corner. No slide this time, that's good. We go, oh. And I thought he was going to slide out to the left a bit there, so just tucked in behind, but loads of time. No need to be silly at this stage. This is only that three of five. Uh, so we've effectively, he's still there, isn't he? Just watching the radar for the moment. So we've got, this is only lap like three of five. So we've effectively got three laps left. All I've got to do now is keep this on the black stuff facing the right direction. Could this be the one race where we don't swap ends? I want to try and build up a bit of a cushion to the car behind just in case I do lose the back end of this car. It shouldn't really because there's no tyre wear on it. That was a bit, that was grotty. Went in there, the boat was too deep and broke heavily during the middle part of the corner. Let's third through there, third through here, Up to fourth as quick as we can. We come down two gears to turn in. No, nope. I'm getting a bit braver. Normally I do that, or have been doing that in second, but I am managing to be a bit brave and doing that in third gear now. I was wavering just before we turned into that corner. This one is a definite second, especially when we go that deep. Left my braking a bit too late. Not quite got my braking points for this Ferrari. You can see on the myrometer how many miles this has done. Probably not very many. Let me just negotiate around these corners. Come through here, second, just watching the sausage. Sometimes I get wheel up on it, sometimes I don't. Same with here. Just so this car has done uh, just coming up for 10 miles. So as you can tell, this is a car that I'm not used to driving. And um, not quite got the braking points yet. But this is an opportunity to really put some distance between me and the car behind. He's just over 10 seconds behind at the moment. Oh, I've gone too deep. Trying to be a little bit too eager to get some distance and we ended up taking it off of the track which is not clever uh, you can get away with it through there uh, I'm not sure how this Ferrari will how this Ferrari will run at those sausages but that's just blatant cheating I really don't want to do that and so we're coming up for 13 seconds I think that was so second gear turning in let me run Third, fourth, get up to fifth, climbing through the gears quickly. Down into third for this this time. We can stick with third through here. That's better. Building up to fourth. Got a fourth much quicker there. Down into third. Sticking with third through here now. This is better. This is feeling better. Got a much better exit. Third gear through there is definitely better than second. Definitely not needed. This one is the second gear corner though. Trying to look for the apex. Using that green strip, up into third, up into come on four. Whoa. Let's just get this around here. So that wasn't overly, overly good. Got a little bit wide there as well. From uh, which sure you don't need to be pushing this hard. Just take it easy. I mean, first gear through there. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Yeah, completely got the gears wrong too. Uh, 
I need to make sure that I do get the right gears running on manual. I should be used to them by now, but occasionally I do pick the wrong gear. And that is a very easy way of putting the car on a spinner. But coming up to lap a car, surely not. Okay, we're 18 seconds ahead, which is a country mile. Um, I haven't checked, I think I'm back onto normal settings. I'm choosing normal settings for most of these videos for the AI because I'm aiming at this at people, this channel, uh, at least at this point, at people that are new to the game. And most people will go for normal settings. Uh, but really, this far ahead, we really want to be looking at hard settings, uh, which are the settings that I do normally run on. I did drop down to an easy for one race and I did a video a little while ago uh, about the difference between easy and normal and easy was so much easier uh, to step up from normal to hard it is a step up but I don't think it's quite as big so those of you that are pushing on with normal if you're getting through the traffic like I just get this slowed down through here if you're pushing on like I am, it's nice to run away, it's nice to be overtaking bat markers, but you know that's not really the challenge, the challenge is to have a good race where you're vying for first, second or third, and with these menu books it really doesn't matter if you come in third, you still get the reward. So I, my advice would be to step up to hard as soon as you possibly can. Uh, it's also good to be on hard if you're going to be racing against real people because the step up from hard to real people is a massive step. Um, real people are so unpredictable, unlike the AI. So, <clears throat> excuse me, that is the race one done at Catalonia. Uh, we've got the trophy and 95,000 credits, which is bringing our credits up rather nicely. And we get that beautiful 308 GTB. Absolutely gorgeous. Probably one of my favourite Ferraris. The Quattro Valvo was the one that I sat in. Uh, absolutely beautiful cars. So... Next, we will be off for race number two, uh, which will probably be at the Maggiore Circuit. Please consider joining me for that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're following me along, thanks ever much for coming back. I hope you like this new format where I'm just doing one video, one race. Please let me know in the comments if you're finding that to be better. In the meantime, stay, stay, stay well. And see you again very soon. Bye-bye.